Hello everybody, my name is Katie and I'm here to review books three and four in the Lovecraft Middle School series. This is going to be completely spoiler free so don't worry about that. If you haven't checked out my review on the first two of the books then please click on the box over here and it will redirect you to that video. So this series on a whole is a fantastic middle grade series. I'm 23 years old and I just find this series completely fascinating. It's very creepy, it's eerie, but it's different and it's very, very interesting. So in book number three, Teacher's Pest, we have the main characters continuing on with their adventure in a completely different story. Now this book is about bugs that are infesting the school. They're everywhere, nits are appearing in people's hair and they have to be treated, they has to be shaved, they don't know where they're coming from. So our main characters all go on an adventure to find out where these bugs are coming from and they end up finding where they're coming from, they find the culprit who is sending these bugs around the school and yes it's just a very very great story and they end up solving it in the end as always. I think all the characters in general are just really really enjoyable. They're completely animated, they're fun to read about. Because it is a middle grade book of course the writing is going to be simple and understandable. There are also illustrations throughout the book which are enjoyable, they help you to read the story and imagine it as you go and I think that is really enjoyable. It helps to picture in your mind what is happening. Whilst you're reading the later books in the series, like for example reading this book, it does retell you about other things that have happened in other books so it will make things more clear and it will remind you of those. Now because this is a very buggerific book, I found myself at times actually itching myself. I felt that there were bugs all over me all the time. Like when they were talking about the nits, I felt like I had nits. So it just goes to show how much I was really, really into this book. I felt like I was a part of it. It is written in second person and the chapters have a short length. All the covers in general are really, really creepy because they all have different storylines the picture on the front will be referring to that particular book. This one, we do have the bug. It is an actual hologram, but this is my art copy, and it will be like this. It will appear like a normal book. For example, I will just show you a substitute creature as a hologram. This is one of the creepiest covers I've ever seen. Serious. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> so yeah, they're proper, proper creepy, I must admit. The beginning of Teacher's Pest was fantastic because I was just straight away into the story. The ending of Teacher's Pest has such a cliffhanger. Literally on the very last page you're just like, oh no, what is going to happen now? And it just makes you want to carry on with the series. So overall I loved the third book in this series and I gave this book five out of five stars. Now moving on, I will now talk about my thoughts on Substitute Creature. Substitute Creature, in my opinion, has the scariest cover out of the whole of the series. It's just this face. Look at that. Freaky, isn't it? It creeps me out every time I look at it. However, I found that this novel wasn't as creepy as the other books in the series. I felt it was a bit more fluffy. However, I did also enjoy it just as much as the others. Now this book actually carries off exactly where Teacher's Pest has left. We have a blizzard that has hit the school and everybody has to be evacuated. However, Robert and his friends end up stranded there along with his mum. They have to survive on the cafeteria food and the substitute teacher, this person right here, is kind of creepy and Robert and his friends kind of have an inkling what the teacher really is and secrets are revealed and the ending of the book it was quite sweet despite the consequences and it sort of ended in that way where it, there's going to be another book in the series I mean fingers crossed there is because this series is just absolutely phenomenal so yes I did really really enjoy this book and I gave this 5 out of 5 stars so books 3 and 4 both really really great reads 5 out of 5 stars the whole way people like Jessie the reader 
have enjoyed this series as well so it's not just me even though it is a middle grade series everybody enjoys it i think it's for all ages it is absolutely fantastic and enjoyable and i completely recommend this to anybody so i just want to say a great big massive thank you to quirk books for sending me these books for review i am honestly so so grateful and even though they sent them to me it does not affect my opinion on the books it is my opinion only and i'm just i'm just happy so I hope you have enjoyed this review for books 3 and 4 of the Lovecraft Middle School series by Charles Gilman. Please do give me a thumbs up if you have. Let me know any comments below, like let me know if you have read these books or if you would like to, if you'd be interested in them. Any comments, any thoughts, please leave them down below because I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And please do have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon. My name's Katie. See you in my next video. Bye.